AMD had a big year of the Ryzen CPUs last year, so back in November, it was kind of a shock when Intel announced Kobe Lake G, an 8th gen Intel CPU with Radeon Vega M graphics on board. Intel not only launched a new Core 8 series of CPUs here at CES 2018, but they had demo machines with the 8th generation Intel Core processors with Radeon RX Vega M graphics. That's a mouthful. Did I say Core 8? I did. This is a powerful 4-core, 8-thread CPU running up to 3.1 gigahertz or 4.2 gigahertz in turbo mode if you got the thermal capacity to move the heat out of the system. Now, the Radeon RX Vega M graphics are integrated in the package, and I gotta say, it kind of feels like this is an admission that Intel can't catch up on GPU performance for 3D and a big shot across the bow of NVIDIA as far as gaming and content creation laptops go. The Vega M GPU is on its own discrete die inside the CPU, runs data to the processor over eight lanes of PCI Express 3.0 and connects to four gigs of Gen 2 high bandwidth memory. That's more power efficient than GDDR5 over an embedded multi-die inter embedded multi-die interconnect bridge or EMIB and I'm never gonna say embedded multi-die interconnect bridge again because EMIB is so much easier. So how powerful of a GPU are we talking about here? Up to 24 CUs or compute units and 1,536 stream processors. Intel claims 10 to 40% faster than an NVIDIA GTX 1050 and maybe a teeny bit faster than a GTX 1060. Now, that is nowhere near an NVIDIA GTX 1080, but the truth is most of you don't buy laptops with 1080. Uh, GPUs inside of them, and I gotta say these 8th gen Intel Core H series laptops should cost a ton less than laptops with discrete graphics. Now, 8th gen Intel Core H series laptops are coming in the first quarter of 2018 from Dell, HP, and an Intel Nook boxes. We hope to get hands-on to learn more about them or to, hey, check out the rest of our CES 2018 coverage. Go to techthing.com or youtube.com slash techthing. I'm Patrick Norton. Thank you so much for watching.